My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Well, this don't look good for you. Ugh. Please, just uh, help me, mister. <clears throat> my leg's all numb. Please hurry. <clears throat> Going to help. I'll see what I can do. Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. We'll need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. Uh, would you mind? There's not space enough for me on the horse. Good work, Bart. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't yeah. afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. How you doing? You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir.
We're close now. Just a little further. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. 